Here's an F-18 Hornet Blue Angels. Well, they tore the whole thing. They're still getting kind of the edges of it. The old school Fort Worth administration building. Got a rainy, well, it was a rainy day. Listening to, well, probably a lot of you are listening to, have you ever seen the rain? By Credence Clearwater Revival. No go karts, but well, you got to watch out up here though because you're going to have ponding. I don't know if you'll see it, depends on if the sky gets impatient, takes a right around. I uh, don't know if they're going to. No, it doesn't look like it. They usually don't know. They don't have a sign that warns you, but it's right here. It's a lot of ponding. Here's a telling of it. it's really bad right here. Yeah. Anyway. I wanna know, Kitty. Have you ever seen the rain skinny church? Looks like a skinny church from Pet Cemetery. Your skinny church. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain coming down on a sunny day? Another night of delivery. Gonna head back and see Linda and Kitty. So today at around close to 5 p.m. May 22nd, 2024, I did receive a message from Christoph Waltz. He is the actor that played Hans Landa in Quentin Tarantino's movie, uh, and Glorious Bastards. He also was in Django Unchained. He played the dentist, bounty hunter. The message went like this. Hello, Cole. <laughs> but it was only through Facebook Messenger. 
I had already sent him Grace, aka Wear Vlog, twice. Uh, he does know I wrote it for Gary Oldman, but I told him I cannot get a hold of Gary Oldman. Um, Christoph Waltz studied opera, so I know somewhere in there he sings. And he's um, Austro Austria, from Austria, but he has connections with uh, Vienna, as in uh, Viennese. He does speak several languages. Now this would require him to do an English accent, which I know if anyone in this planet could probably do that, it would probably be Christoph Waltz that could probably do it the best. He's uh, very articulate. Um, the script is very lengthy. I was reading it today. The script I wrote, Grace, AKA Wear Vlog, it's 220 something pages. A lot of it is description, meaning there's probably not as much dialogue as I think there is. Um, dialogue wise, I didn't really try to take from any other writer other than I just try to tell the story and keep it simple. And I'm, I'm willing to work with that. Uh, it's not like the Bible, but it's about a werewolf and the UFC right well UFC fighter I wouldn't say writer um, and it's about oh, it's about a lot of things uh, an ex rock star named Rainy Love and there's a uh, uh, there it starts with these two grim vloggers well they're actually gothic vloggers it starts with them getting uh, basically slaughtered by the werewolf. It's a very lengthy kind of play-like thing. It sounds a little like a movie uh, at the beginning, um, but they, they do get killed in Marfa, Texas, doing research on the ghost of James Dean. There's also um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. They're just kind of an introduction. There's there's a few introductions in the beginning. It, I first introduced the cat, Garlane, eating cat food, who comes back in the story a few more times. There's also um, ah, Tim Barry, yes, Tim Barry, and Wallace Shawn's character, who I'd like to, I'd like for it to be someone like Wallace Shawn, or if Wallace Shawn can do it. Shaw Walnut, who runs a feed store, who's a gypsy, who knows about the werewolf. And it's kind of spine. It's a lot about spine and paranoia and these things. These things right here. So it's about some, you know, some hacking is involved. Oh, there's, yes, John Blacksmith, who's also kind of a hacker. He also makes silver weaponry. So he's a, a, a blacksmith. That's why his name is John Blacksmith. Um... I was thinking maybe Post Malone. I just, I don't know. It's weird because I saw him in a Jake Gyllenhaal movie just the other day. I didn't see the movie though, but it's called Roadhouse. But I thought, okay, he is doing some acting. John Blacksmith would, would, is a character that's, uh, well, he's kind of crazy. The dialogue for him is, is is not as crazy as I could make it, but he's uh, he's got this elongated way of, well... How would he speak, really? It's kind of, I'm trying to think of it. Maybe really kind of big and almost kind of exaggerated, you know, but not like that. I, it's hard. I, I have to enter. He's based on a friend of mine. Um, I don't know, but maybe like, you know, it's like he's got a very weird voice. So he's done drugs. <laughs> it's some of it isn't. He, he likes... Um, this girl that's in Whitney, Texas. So I like that song, Whitney. I did kind of what Scorsese did in Goodfellas. Like I put hints of where I want the movie, uh, where, I, where I want the song to be. I didn't always just put this song for, you know, I did do a little bit of that. I did put down, I want this song in it on the radio playing, blah, blah. And I did do a little bit of that, but not a whole lot. But I did a hint at certain songs. And I like the song Whitney by, by Post Malone. And there's also another song, um, Silver F by uh, Smashing Pumpkins, which is a scene where they get, they hire an Uber driver. It's more like a secret Uber driver named Mark. I think there's a few of them. There's a few Uber drivers in it. And he takes them across the country. Now we could, I, I told, I said we could maybe leave it within Texas because Texas is kind of a country. So uh, anyway, they, they drive a very long distance in this Uber, I guess because 
Gerald can no longer stand flying. He has a bad flying experience. It's really bad. The, the oxygen masks come down, horrible turbulence and almost, you know, it, it's very, it's, 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 it's not probably all in the script. But the turbulence is horrible and he, he has to tell the passengers around him that, the, that they're not going to die. And it's, it's, it's very, he cries in it in, in this, in a few, few moments. Um, Gerald is a, a YouTuber that used to be, oh, I forgot to mention Gerald Oldman the third. That was written for Gary Oldman. That's the one I sent for Christoph Waltz, but he used to be a, a minister in, in, in England, in the United Kingdom. So he was a, a devout man of the cloth, or really of God. Uh, he's more Protestant than Catholic. But he, he, he had some horrible things happen. Uh, he lost his wife and kids, but you don't know how. And it's not like an accident. The wife just took him and left no, with really no explanation. Very strange. These things sometimes can happen. So he finds that all of a sudden he's isolated. So he turns from, uh, you know, not really the word of God, but he, he turns from, from the ministry and backslides into YouTube and starts uh, obsessing over basically monsters. There's this thing called Legend Quest and Monster Quest that he works for kind of, and they go and look for monsters. So he becomes a devout believer in monsters. And I, I couldn't think of anyone better than Gary Oldman because of Dracula. And also Gary, well, of course, Gary Oldman played a monster, which is Dracula. But um, I, I, I couldn't think of anyone better after seeing a scene in um, uh, Slow Horses. So I was blown away by his character work. And also I watched Prick Up the Ears uh, the other day. I did fall asleep in it because I was extremely tired. But his character work in that from the very beginning is just very method. You know, he's, he's very, he's very method. But Christoph Waltz has, has got something too. You know, he's very he's very in tune as well. Um, but this is kind of a method role. And so Gerald is a backslider, but he also uh, fails to stay sober all the time. He asks for liquor on the air flight, on the flight, uh, Air France, because he takes Air France from Europe to, to England. I mean, I'm sorry. From, from, he gets on Air France, he goes to America, basically. And he, he's like drunk, like he's drunk at, you know, he's, he's drinking and he, he asks for liquor from the Uber driver. He uses excuses. He has a problem with alcohol. So that's a battle that can be explored in his character. And, but yet he knows this werewolf is real. They know the werewolf is real. And John Blacksmith believes in it too, because he makes weaponry to kill werewolves. And they join forces to go and take down this werewolf in a place called Barksville, Texas, that they think is this UFC fighter that really he's not a werewolf. So from his point of view, and I was gonna approach Bradley Cooper with this, I don't know if, if Cooper would be able to, he's, he's, he's got a full load, but he thinks uh, they're crazy and doesn't know anything about a werewolf. Little does he know that there is a werewolf very close to him. And so Rainey once started this band and she played at the 1999 Woodstock in a band called Silver, which is kind of almost like a they, they, be, they become eventually a Kiss tribute band for a female Kiss tribute band. And they're like a failed band. You know, she's like a Fleetwood Mac fan, but she's also, she likes rock and roll and all this stuff. And they, they never took off, you know. So she's kind of living on this ranch with Grace Lip on this ex -U, uh, UFC fighter. Um, basically, uh, just living there, you know, just, well, she's, she's, they're married, you know, and they're just having kind of like, they don't have any kids, but they have a cat and it's just that kind of thing. And then, and then, and then there's these werewolf attacks. There's also a small, small, small roles of people that are killed by the werewolf. One is a uh, lawn man named Louise, the lawn, uh, scaper. It, it just, you have to read it. It's, it's, it's long winded. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not advanced on my screen writing, but it's long winded. I'll just put it that way. Sweetie. Hi. There we go. There's Kitty. He's just a good kitty. Kitty's watching. There's Linda. And there it is. We sing the song. 
Ma ma kiki kapu. Ma ma kiki kapu. Ma ma kiki kapu. Ma ma kiki kapu. Now, none of this is representing something that Gerald Oldman III would do, but if he did, I wouldn't stop him. Ma, ma. I know, kitty. There we go. Let's look. Yes, there it is. Oh, looks like someone already got you fed. Here we go. Ma, ma. Kiki Kapu. Ma ma kiki kapu woo woo. Ma ma kiki kapu. Ma ma kiki kapu.